Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be my Miss Argentina video. I'm excited to do Miss Argentina because if you didn't know, I am half Argentinian and I've just always wanted to do her. So today we shall do her. I guess a friend is joining us for this look, but whatever. We are going to moisturize our face and clearly I'm singing Fetty Wap because don't they all start the same? Yeah, baby. And just in case you were wondering why my hair just looks so, you know, just great and put together, just so, you know, Perfect, it's because I really just woke up. So I'm going to moisturize my lips with my Best Damn Lip Mask and then we're gonna move straight on to painting the body. So I'm gonna be using these water activated uh, paints from Graf Tobin. I'll have all the names listed in the bottom bar, but I'm just going to mix these two together to give me that Miss Argentina color. And I'm using this big body brush from Tarte so that it'll cover a lot in a short amount of time. It took me about, I want to say like 20 minutes or so. Oh, you need some water too, and look at this bowl. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes or so to pretty much cover the whole upper part of my body. And if you're using water-activated paints, you want to make sure that you let the layers dry in between your coats, just in case you want to add more coverage like I eventually do. Just make sure that your layers are dried. Otherwise, if you put the wet layer on top of your wet layer, it's just going to come off. Make sure you leave your wrists clear because we are going to be putting on our slit wrists. So just cover your body and paint. Thank you. This is a really easy Halloween costume, even though it's gonna seem like I'm doing a lot. You're really just gonna paint yourself green. We're gonna need like two blue eyeshadows and a red lipstick. And I am gonna put on a red wig, but if you don't have a red wig, you could just use one of those like hair sprays that turn your hair red and then it's like easy peasy. This is like probably the easiest look ever. <laughs> I switched to this little tiny tart brush for the face because it was more dense and I felt like it was packing the color on, well not packing the color on, but putting the color on a lot better than the larger brush was. If you don't have a makeup brush that you want to douse in green paint, you can use one of those little like foam spongy brushes from the paint store. They're like three for a dollar, they're like really inexpensive, but that would work really great for this as well. And right about here, I started to feel like a little green Martian. <laughs> For the eyes, I'm just gonna take a combination of blues. I started with these two blues from the Morphe palette and I'm just going to place these in the crease of the eye and blend upward. I'm not gonna really place anything on the lid. So what I was doing was just using like a really pointed brush and then blending the color out with a more fluffy brush so that it wasn't so harsh. But I'm just going to do the same thing over and over, packing more blue into the crease until I find that it's to the intensity that I like. I feel like I can't even talk. <laughs> So after we get all of our top shadow on, I went ahead and threw on a little bit of winged liner and lashes. You can use whatever lash you want for this. Then I just did the same thing to the lower lash line. So I'm just going to start adding some blue, packing on more to build the intensity, and then I'm going to drag it down kind of like where your natural dark circles would be. You're just going to drag the blue shade down into this area. So we're 
gonna take that same blue shadow that we were using for our eyes and we're gonna use it to contour our cheeks. I'm just using small brushes because for me, it is a lot easier than using a larger brush. I'm not sure what brushes is using here, but I'll have it listed in the bottom of the because this was like the hero brush of the day, that little tapered guy. So I'm kind of rounding out my cheeks too. Um, as you can see, like I'm not taking it perfectly straight. It kind of looks like a little Nike check on my cheek just to pop those cheekbones. Sticking with that same blue shadow, I'm gonna drag it on my jawline and then I'm gonna drag it down underneath my neck to create a little bit of shadowing. Shadowing? Is that a word? And I can't really tell if Miss Argentina has really anything going on down on her chest, but I'm just going to accentuate a little bit of the hollowness in my chest area. So on the collarbone, that little part right in the middle of the neck, and then we're back to the eyes. So I'm just taking a gel liner and running it in the waterline and a little bit underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna blend that black out with a little more blue shadow. I added a little bit of a shimmery green shade because I don't know I thought maybe Miss Argentina wanted to have that highlight cheek pop so this is just from the shimmer morphe palette so I'm just highlighting a few areas that I think could use it for the lips I'm going to use a red lip liner to line my lips because I don't know I just I feel like I can't wear a colorful lip without lining my lips. For the lip color itself, we're using Ruby Woo. And then to add a little more like dimension to the lip, I'm gonna use Vino Lip Liner. <laughs> So for our slit wrists, I was kind of bummed because I searched all over my house for my nose and scar wax, but I couldn't find it anywhere. But in my Halloween collection, I did find these little slit wrists. You can tell that I'm disappointed just by my face because I was so mad I couldn't find my nose and scar wax. So we're just gonna work with these and I'm going to adhere them with spirit gum. If you've never used spirit gum, you just wanna get it a little tacky before you place it on. Otherwise, it's just gonna like slide all over the place. So just pounce it like up and down with your fingers like in a fast motion and this will create um, the stickiness that you need to adhere it. So I'm just going to pop those on and then we're going to paint our wrists green. Well, the rest of our arms green. Then taking a little bit of black and red from the Make It Forever Flash palette, I'm just going to use these to add in between the slits to make it a little more realistic wasn't super happy with these, I can't lie about it, but I had to work with what I had. So after that, I'm gonna just throw on a red wig. When I first put my red wig on, I felt like a little bit like a cone head, so I just pin it back to make the wig look a little more better, if more better is the right way to say that. But after that, this look is complete, so I hope you guys enjoyed Miss Argentina. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys, except I love you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. If I knew now what I knew then, I wouldn't have had my little accident.